What's going on guys? Storm here and for those of you who knew that I went to Rhode Island Comic Con, I am back obviously. This is, came a little bit late but I went on Sunday and I got there maybe around 12 and when I got in the door we we're gonna go buy some tickets because I never, we didn't get any. I went with my dad and some two two kids or teenagers or young adults are coming out and they're like oh you guys gonna get tickets? And we're like yeah and they're like oh here have ours. And they were like, they basically saved us $80 getting in. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, we saw some pretty interesting things. There's actually a lot of people there, obviously, because they had both of the Recreational Center and the Dunkin' Donuts Center open for people to go around. Uh, we started off in the Dunkin' Donuts Center, yes. And uh, what we did was we, we didn't actually go into the ice rink we stayed like above and that was actually a problem because there were actually a lot of things down below that we missed because we didn't do that so we, we just like stood like around where there were like cell concessions and stuff when you're at like a hockey game or something you know that ring i guess i didn't i i actually didn't take a lot too many pictures so you're gonna have to bear with what i kind of have anyway so we did that and then we went over to the rec, rec center and we saw some interesting things. I got a picture of the banner, and my resolution of my phone sucks, so it's kind of crappy. My dad took the same picture, and his is like fantastic. But uh, we met the guy from the 100 Murphy, and yeah, he was pretty cool. So what he told us was that Murphy was originally gonna be just like a character that dies in like the second episode, like a really boring and awful character. He had uh, he tried out for Bellamy, but he didn't get it. And he's saying that the hundred is gonna come back February, and the first scene is gonna be him in the house when it ended the last season. So that was pretty cool. We met him. I took a picture of a DeLorean. I didn't get too close because I didn't know if they were gonna charge me or not. But I got pictures of Baby from Supernatural. I mean, I I didn't get very good pictures because there were people kind of around me and I couldn't really go around anywhere taking pictures kind of sucks but yeah that was free so that was pretty cool I got this some other pictures but I ordered like a t-shirt that should be coming in the mail because they ran out of sizes I was like okay uh, there, we didn't really stay there for too long but I think it was kind of cool because there was a lot of interesting things the prices were ridiculous obviously if you're going to go to a convention or something the prices are going to be crazy but it's just, it's ridiculous how many people are actually spending stuff. Because there are some people that I know that would pay, like, butt tons of money for autographs and stuff. Because they were charging, like, $20 or 20 to $40 autograph and, like, a picture with them or something. Which is really stupid, but... Oh, right. I have to tell you that I went as Lapis... My, my girl Lapis, and I met some other crystal gems there. There was a ton of amethysts. There was a couple pearls, some rose quartzes. There was, like, I saw a group. I took a picture with a group of homeworld gems. There was another Lapis, obviously. There's a Jasper and a Peridot. And they had a Steven as the mom. So that was kind of cool. My dad didn't really take a good picture, so he kind of, because he didn't get a wide picture. He just got, like, a, a small picture in it. So that kind of sucked, but yeah, it was kind of weird because there were people people knew who I was and they were like, "Yo, Lapis." I was like, "Yo." I actually every time someone talked to me about it, I kind of said really bad things. Like I didn't really say anything cool. Like I didn't quote or nothing. I just kind of like, "Yeah, I'm Lapis." Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of weird too, because there's some people that for seeing me from the back and be like, "Hey." I was like, oh, hi. But yeah, if anyone, if any of you guys were there and you saw a male lapis, yeah, it was probably me. Unless someone else did it, then I'd probably be upset. Someone stole my, 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 my thing. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I got an Eevee. I didn't get it there, but I got one. I'm holding it right now. You can't tell, but I am. Thanks for the quick listen, and I'll see you later.